up YouTube? This is Aisha and I want to welcome you guys to my channel. Okay, so this video is going to be about my main favorites. That is everything that I really enjoyed using in the month of May. Um, there is some new things, so let's get into it. Okay, you guys. Um, first and foremost, Dermalogica. Alright, this is a new skincare line that I've been trying and I absolutely love it. This is the starter kit. I got it off of eBay, but you can also purchase it from Ulta or Sephora or either, either go directly to the website. This is for normal to oily skin. It is a whole set. It has the special cleansing gel, a multi-active toner, a skin prep a mask scrub, a active moist moisturizer, and a climate control lip balm. I love this lip balm. So I've been using this. It came in this bag. I also have some samples in here. But it came in this bag. And I've been using it for about three weeks now. And I'm loving the results. I really am. I'm really seeing a difference in my skin. Um, Dermalogica is a very, very good brand. I heard about them through an esthetician I went to go see and she recommended that I give it a try because I was having a very hard time with my skin, getting it under control and getting the look that I wanted, um, you know, no pimples, not, I wanted to control the oil and I just wasn't getting that with what, with what I was using. So I've been trying this and I'm loving it. So my new fave of the month is Dermalogica. City Color Bronzer, alright. I don't know the name of this bronzer, but I found it at Rite Aid. It was $3.99, and I just thought it was a really nice, you know, it was really attractive. I like the beach and the palm trees, you know, the waves, but it's just a different color. I, when I, and when I got home and I tried it, I fell in love with it, and I've been using it like crazy. Like I said, I don't know the name of it, but it has a mauve color, and then it's like a champagne-y pink that outlines the tree and the waves. And this, the color it gives you, it is as beautiful as a highlight. I kind of sometimes brush it over the cheeks after I apply blush. It's just gorgeous. So, City Color, I have never heard of the line before, but that is the not line, City Color. And this bronzer, I don't know the name, but I will try to find it and I will post it at the bottom. Now, another bronzer I've been using is by Milani. They have baked bronzers. And this bronzer is sick I love it okay it gives me really nice golden look I fell in love with the packaging it has like a clear patch feel very glamorous you know has the beautiful gold and then a nice muted type of gold at the bottom the packaging is really cute and this is what it looks like it's um like kind of like the color of my skin but it has copper and golden um marbleization all in through it you know it's really nice and the color is really nice. It's very, very natural. It's not too glittery. It looks really nice on the apples of the cheeks. Also to use as a highlight. I also put it on my forehead down the middle of my nose when I'm going for a really glowy look. I really like it. Underneath here it has a mirror um, and it also has a applicator, a little um, brush. You guys see I don't use this, but it is very good to have when you're on the go. So it is a very con convenient packaging. The name of this is called Soil or Soul on my show, but I'm going to put the spelling below. But this has been one of my favorites. I've really been into bronzers lately because you guys know summer is here and you want to have that bronzy look, that golden look, that luminous look, and that is something that you can achieve with bronzers. And this has been one of my favorites, Milani Soul Baked Bronzer. You know, I can't do a favorite without mentioning my favorite of all time, and that is CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer. This is beautiful. I use it to bring warmth to my skin. I use it to um, contour. I did a little bit of contouring and put a little bit right here on my forehead. Um, it has light shimmer, barely any. It's, it's like a reddy brown, and it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I... Don't, I use this all the time. I hope you guys can see a swatch of that. It's just like, it's just beautiful. This is one of my favorite bronzers. You guys have seen me talk about this a lot. I use it a lot. And it's just magnificent. Um, CoverGirl Queen Collections Ebony Bronzer. They have two other kind of bronzers. I think 
warm bronze and brown bronze. I'm not sure, but I will put the names below. But Ebony Queen Collection bronzers have something for every skin tone. This is just my favorite. I use it all the time. Like I said, it just brings warmth to the skin. I use it to right here. I use it on my jawline. I use it on the edges of my face. It just instantly gets my face this warmth. You know, it looks really, really nice. So, CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronze is still my all-time favorite. So, it's probably going to be in every month's my favorites. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. So, I have um, some bare minerals. I've had it for a long time. And I've had this clear radiance. And I didn't know what to do with this stuff. And one day, this is how it looks. One day I decided to maybe I'll go ahead and try to use it as a highlight. And it was beautiful. So I'm going to do a quick swatch for you guys. Because it's absolutely gorgeous. And it has like an iridescent feel to it. Like a pinkish hue. And when it's blended perfectly. And it's blended really well into the skin. It looks so nice. And I was like all this time I've been having this stuff. And I ain't been knowing what to do with it. And it makes a beautiful highlight right here. I sometimes, sometimes put it down the middle of the nose, depending on what I'm wearing. You know, if I'm having like a purpley day, a pinkish day. This is the um, highlight I like to rock. This are my city color. Um, but Bare Minerals Clear Radiance, I've been loving this. Loving, loving this as a highlight. Also, as you know, just to bring a nice glow to my face. Okay, now, so this is my new favorite thing, and it is L'Oreal True Match Foundation Neutral Cappuccino. I love this stuff. I just did a tutorial on this and a review. It is just so beautiful. It blends nicely. It does not have a cakey feel. It is super light. I have it on today, and it just feels so, 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 so good when I put it on. It's just like I'm putting on nothing. It lasts all day. Um, this is my favorite. If you guys have not tried L'Oreal Two True Match Foundations, you have to give them a try. Like I said, um, they have every color, and they're broken down by undertones, cool, warm, and neutral. Um, if you can't find your shade, they have so many shades that you may be able to blend one, catch a sale. I caught a sale, got this for about eight bucks, seven or eight bucks. It's usually about ten to twelve dollars, and this stuff is magnificent. It is just so nice. This is my favorite, favorite foundation right now. This is all I'm using. If I'm not using this, I'm not using anything. You know, I just go bare face um, with a little bit of powder. But other than that, this is what I'm loving. So L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Give it a try. So another thing that I've been using um, is Banana Powder by Ben Nye. I've been using this a lot. I have found myself grabbing this a lot. Um, just putting on maybe some concealer, then going over my face with this. Putting on my foundation, setting it with this. It's just very convenient. It has barely any pigment to it. So it's like, a, it doesn't leave you ashy. It looks really nice, a nice finish. And I've been loving this. So my banana powder has been my favorite this month. I have two lipsticks that I've been loving. And one is called Pumpkin Pie. And that's by NYX. And it's just a nice, beautiful color. It looks really nice on the skin. I've been loving this. It's just a really nice neutral, kind of a corally, beigey color. Really nice. So Pumpkin Pie has been my favorite. And Earth Angel by NYX has been my favorite. It's really, really pretty. It's like a bronzy color. And it's just really nice with the lips. It looks really good in the sun. And so... These have been my favorite lip products, Pumpkin Pie and Earth Angel. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned in this video, please just feel free to leave me a comment, send me a message. But like I always say, stay blessed, stay beautiful, but always stay you. And happy Memorial Day.